Well, at the White House, U.S. President Joe Biden is set to unveil the first full-color image from the James Webb Space Telescope. The images are the first views of the cosmos by the telescope in living color. James Webb is more powerful than previous telescopes, and NASA says that Biden will unveil an image of deep space. And to help us understand the significance of all this, we're joined by Mark McCogren. He's a senior advisor for science and exploration at the European Space Agency. Uh, thanks for joining us here on France 24. We should point out that the you know, Webb project is a joint effort between the ESA, NASA, and the Canadian uh, Space Agency. So this is just one image we're going to see, and more will be released Tuesday morning. Um, what should we expect? Well, you're absolutely right. You know, this is the culmination of decades of work between those uh, three agencies. And this is a telescope which anybody in the world, in principle, can apply to use. Um, and we had a launch on Christmas Day. We spent six months making sure everything works, that the telescope's fully aligned, all the instruments working. And so what we're putting out first thing tonight, I mean, I think the, the, the press event by Joe Biden has been postponed by half an hour or so. I think it, there's no reason. We know what the image is. It's going to look great. Um, and we'll be putting more images out tomorrow. And these are just really, you know, a, a few days worth of data taken to illustrate how amazingly well this telescope is working and how it's opening a new window into the universe. Um, everybody's familiar with the Hubble Space Telescope, which is quite a bit smaller, but we've also shifted the wavelengths of this telescope. So we're not looking at visible wavelengths where the human eye can see, but in the infrared. And this helps us see the universe in quite a different way and these images do illustrate that the telescope's working absolutely perfectly, um, in fact, even better than we expected, which is totally remarkable at this point. You mentioned the Hubble. How much more powerful is the Webb telescope than the Hubble? Well, in some ways, you know, you might say it's 10 times or 100 times for certain kinds of science. But the, the key thing that we hope to see in the Biden uh, announcement and, and the, the pictures we'll be putting out with NASA tomorrow um, is that, in fact, there are things that Hubble just cannot do at all. And the main thing uh, which it, it, it can't stretch to, if you like, is looking at the very first stars and galaxies that formed in our universe. People know the universe is expanding, and so it's actually dragging the light out. And the, the light, which has come the furthest distance all the way back from the beginning of time, um, is pulled so far that it's not in the visible at all anymore. It's only in the infrared. So in, in some ways, for this kind of science, JWST is actually infinitely more powerful than Hubble. But, you know, that sounds like scientific exaggeration, but there's so many new things we'll be able to see with this telescope that no other, no other telescope on the ground or in space could approach. Well, so if we're seeing things we've never seen before, what exactly uh, could we learn from, from these images? Well, the sorts of science are indeed looking for those very first galaxies and stars that formed in our universe just maybe 100 million years after the Big Bang. And that's 13.8 billion years ago. So that light has been traveling to us. And we expect galaxies to look very different. Galaxies are huge gatherings of stars, maybe hundreds of billions of stars. We live in one. It's called the Milky Way. But we don't really know how they started off. How were they born in the first place? And much closer to home, we expect to be able to measure the atmospheres of planets going around other stars and find places where new stars are being born today in our own Milky Way galaxy. So it's a huge range of science. It's, it's not one focused goal so much as a general observatory. And in fact, some of the best things that come out of JWST will be things we just have never dreamed of, even though we've worked on it for 25 years or more. Some, some clever person will come along in the next months, weeks, years, and, and, and propose an experiment that will blow our socks off. So I think, you know, when you build a big new machine like this, the discoveries almost make themselves. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm excited. Yeah, that's 25 years of work. Or let's hope that it all pays off. We're certainly looking forward to seeing those images as well. Thanks so much. Uh, Mark McCogren, Senior Advisor for Science and Exploration at the ESA, the European Space Agency.